Thank you for being with us on this Friday, February 10th, as we are recapping for you what has happened today in the courtroom in the double murder trial of Alec Murdoch. A very compelling testimony this morning from somebody finally who was close to Maggie Murdoch. This was the family's housekeeper taking the stand. Blanca Simpson told the jury she worked for the Murdoch family for years and considered Maggie a close friend. Now, the night of the murders on June 7th, Maggie he called Blanca from Edisto asking her to go to the Moselle property and clean up and also get dinner ready because Alec had asked her to come home from the beach that night. She also says Alec asked Paul to come home too. Here's a bit of that testimony. She told me she said Alec wants me to come home and she kind of sounded like she didn't want to come home um, and uh, she because she really liked being at Edisto and they had a lot of work that was going on and she was trying to make sure everything was ready um, for the 4th of July gathering that they, she was planning. So she wanted, she was very detail orientated, so she wanted everything perfect. So she was kind of, she sounded like she was a little disappointed. And then she said, well, um, Alec asked Paul to come home too because he's got to fix the mess up out there that the, um, that C, B had um, done. Well, Simpson went on to tell jurors that she did go to Moselle that day and she stayed a little late because Paul, in fact, did come home to the Moselle property and she Probably says he brought along he his dirty strong. laundry and asked her to help That's him with it. Was. She told the jury that she fixed the family dinner and then left. Simpson said Alec called her the morning after the murders and asked her to come to the Moselle property and pick up the house. She said coming to that home was very difficult. It was hard because I know she wasn't going to be coming back. And I didn't want to move. I didn't want to move her stuff. It was just a weird feeling going through when I walked, when I unlocked the front door to get in. It felt cold. Well, interestingly, both the prosecution and the defense made a point to show that Alec had had the house cleaned before SLED was in to search the property. Now, Simpson went on to say uh, many other things in the home when she got there the next morning didn't seem right. All right, also in the courtroom today, oh, things got heated between the prosecution and the defense attorneys. Uh, during Simpson's testimony, Dick Harpootlian objected to a line of questioning from John Metters about a conversation that she alleged had with Maggie. Now he said that it was hearsay. Harpootlian asked the judge to declare a mistrial, but he was overruled. During cross examination, Metters objected to Harpootlian's questions on the same grounds. They're trying to offer the defendant's statement in evidence without him taking the stand, and, and it, I, I respectfully think that's objectable as hearsay. He's the defendant on trial. They're offering it for the uh, self serving hearsay. Uh, they're offering it for the truth of the matter asserted. And I respectfully think that he's got to stand, take the stand and get that information in. Your Honor, he could get his whole case through witnesses and he wouldn't have to take the stand. I, I, Absolutely. And that's he's not got appropriate. He's a Fifth Amendment right no, sir. to not take the stand. That's right, but you can't. I don't think Brent will let you all debate the issue between the two. I apologize, I'll I get back. Well, you could hear there Judge Clifton Newman being a little fed up calling for a break. They remain on a break right now. And of course, keep it tuned to WLTX for all the coverage on the Murdoch trial. Make sure to check out our YouTube page. We are streaming the trial there all day. We will see you back here again at 3 o'clock.